Greetings, BUSN 1305, Introduction to Business Students. This is Dr. McGrory, and today is Monday, March the 16th, and it's our first day of the extended spring break that Dr. Hall announced in her town hall meeting as part of a safety measure to help us minimize, hopefully, the spread of the coronavirus. So you may be wondering, as a result of the extended spring break and some of the other announcements that I sent you in the email, how is this going to affect our class? What am I supposed to be doing right now, right? So I thought I'd take a moment in this video to explain that to you so that you will feel comfortable. If you would please just give me the time to go through and watch this entire video and in that way you'll know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. All right, I promise I'm going to go as quickly as I can. The first thing that I want change slides here. First thing that I want to talk to you about is some things that have not changed that put you in a perfect position for the schedule changes that we're going to go through. The first thing that's not changed is that our class has always been hybrid and what hybrid means is that we've only been face to face half the regular meeting time and as a consequence of that you've been doing online assignments since the start of the semester. So what you're really going to do is you're just going to continue completing your online assignments in accordance with the class schedule. That's really what you're going to do. Now there are some minor changes in terms of things that we do actually in class, but keep following uh, the schedule in terms of the chapters. And I'm going to talk about that. Now, there is an exception I'm going to go ahead and mention here. When I say keep following the schedule, <coughs> excuse me, I have built in a, um, a one-week extension in accordance to what Dr. Hall asked, which is this extended spring break. And I built that in because right now, some of you are sitting at home and this is a great time to get some work done, you know, on your laptop and you've got wireless connectivity. For some others, you may have children at home because the Shelby County schools have let folks out. They may be your children, they may be younger brothers and sisters or cousins or um, you know, a, a family member's children that you're helping take care of. And I understand that that requires focus right now. You might be worried about your employment situation and that requires focus. And because of that, I understand that you may need a little time. So we're gonna talk about the extensions that have been built in. But if you have the time to keep following the schedule, that's great, that's gonna keep you, you know, your work well balanced as you continue uh, in your assignments, okay? Now, as we talk about online assignments, some students, this will be a little problematic because you don't have Wi-Fi or you know a, a network in your house, or maybe you don't have access to a computer that you can work on. So please know that the college resources are still available to you. The college is not closed. So if you need a computer, you can go to campus, you can do your work in the library, the college library, and you can spread out you know, and in fact, if you have, uh, if you are living closer to one of our remote, uh, you know, centers, Gill, Whitehaven, um, you know, all the, uh, Maxine Smith, you can go there, right, and complete your assignments in one of their computer labs, in their library. You can come to the Macon campus, the Union campus, uh, whatever is most convenient for you. I also want to remind you that public libraries have computers, and so if that is an easy walk for you, for example, then that might be uh, an easy place to go and get your assignments done. One final note, the college does have Chromebooks that can be checked out, and you can go to the college library and ask about that, and they can point you in the right direction. Um, but you do will still need some kind of internet ac access, okay? You know how you can do that? You can go to, for example, a McDonald's or you know, any nearby restaurant or location that has free Wi-Fi so that you can complete your assignments, okay? So, and again, you know, uh, we're going to talk about class schedule to give you time to get set up and working. All right. The first thing you want to know is that tomorrow, so today's Monday, March 16th, tomorrow, Tuesday, March 17th, no class. This is because Dr. Hall extended spring break by one week. What about test two? Well, test two was due tonight, as was the chapters five and six late work. 
Those were, were originally due tonight. Because Dr. Hall has asked us to extend spring break by one week, I extended the due dates in, by one week until March 23rd. If you've already completed test two, fantastic, that's great. Your chapter five and six late work, awesome, you're on track. If not, you've got a little bit of extra time, but you've got to keep working, okay? So you do, I understand you're working on a lot of things, but you also have to make, keep this class a priority. Okay, for our class meetings that would have occurred Tuesday, March 23rd, or would have occurred Tuesday, March 31st, please know that our class is online for these two dates. Now, when I say our class is online, we will not meet, okay? Instead, what I'm asking is that you complete online connect assignments prior to that Tuesday, March 31st class meeting so that so you complete these eight assignments by Monday, March 30th, and that's the end of the month. But don't delay, right? Don't delay. Work through them methodically. Okay, you may have already completed the Chapter 7 uh, Learn Smart and Chapter Quiz assignments. If so, again, that is fantastic. Continue now, if you go back into Connect, you'll see that these language toolkit and application exercises are available. You can see them, you can get into them, you can access them, and you know they don't take very long, right? But instead of in class, they're online. Now, I did not change the name, but I just want you to understand. You do these online, you do these anytime between now and March the 30th, and you'll see those dates have been extended in the system. It's already available to you. Keep on working when you finish Chapter 7, because remember, you know, we have more assignments due, and complete Chapter 10. You're going to do the Learn Smart, you're going to do the quiz, you're also going to do the Language Toolkit, and the application exercises as homework. So these are all online assignments. All right, I want to pause for just a moment, because if you have not yet completed test number two, and if you're looking for the password, I want to remind you of some of the resources that are available to you in PAUSE. One of them is our, our test instructions. So if you log into PAUSE, click on content, look through this table of contents over here on the side, and look at test two. See how I've gone down to test two? Now, when I click test two, I didn't see anything. It looks like an empty space. Scroll up. Once I scroll up, see test two instructions, click. Be patient because it has to open. These are the original test instructions. They still show the due date as March 16th, but what I'm telling you is that this is a schedule change and you have until March 23rd. So you can make note of that. Make sure you're reading the instructions so you know how many minutes you have, how many questions, how many attempts you have on the test, you know, that your highest score is recorded, and of course the test password. So you want to make sure you read through all those instructions. Now these are the same instructions I distributed in class, so if you've been attending class, you probably have those instructions. All right, oh, while I'm here, let me go over to, um, our class in Connect. I want to view it the way that you normally see it here. And what you should see, let me scroll on down here, is first of all, here's our late work, homework makeup opportunity number two, late work. So if you missed a chapter five or six assignment, notice those due dates have been extended until March 23rd. Here's our test number two, and notice, uh, notice I forgot to extend that, so let me do that really quickly. I must have done it in one section and not the other section, so that's okay. Right here live and in person, we're going to extend that. Let me pause here for a moment. All right, so let's review that again. Um, okay, so we saw that our late work was extended till March 23rd, 
and you caught me on test two here so we fixed that real quick March 23rd for test two so that you know those dates are in there all right now we're going to keep talking about our you know future classes and assignments but there's chapter seven chapter 10 you should have until March 30th on that so let's just double check and there we are March 30th and again March 30th okay so you have that all right continuing along a couple more schedule notes in your schedule for week 10 you would notice that we had some special things going on. Uh, at the nine o'clock class section, we were gonna talk about some career services tools to be available to you. In the 1050 section, we were gonna talk about um, the um, Tennessee Small Business Development. They have a lunch and learn program. Oh, and I'm so, it was looking so great. And I encourage you to look for this in the fall. Um, a little sneak peek for you is that we were talking about a millennial panel of entrepreneurs. So millennials being people who are of that age range for the millennials and talking about their endeavors in entrepreneurship. And I think you will love it. So look for that in the fall. But unfortunately for this semester, we're going to have to cancel this. So on your schedule, please know that that has been canceled. Okay, and that one reason that's been canceled is because Tuesday, March 31st, our class is online. Okay, our class is online. That's what Dr. Hall asked. She said, we're going to extend spring break by one week, and then we're going to have two weeks that were completely online. So speaking of that, there's also an extension in your schedule. It's really more of an error in your schedule because the dates um, on your assignments have always been correct. For chapter 13, Learn Smart and Quiz, those will be due Monday, April 6th. Monday, April 6th for chapter 13. Okay. All right. Um, I want to just recap. No class Tuesday, March 17th. No class Tuesday, March 23rd or 31st. Assignments due the 23rd assignments due the 30th right you have your uh, extension here on chapter 13 and then finally i want to conclude with this which is some of your tools for success the campus is open so if you need computers with internet access they're available on our campuses including our remote campuses the academic support center is open if you need help with pause, even if you're having trouble logging into something like Connect, in terms of your, you're having difficulty using the computer, go to the Academic Support Center and just tell them that. I don't understand how to get to this website. I, I just need simple help. While they cannot necessarily assist you with introduction to business, they can help you decipher instructions or overcome obstacles to opening your assignments or using your ebook. Okay, so just let them know, look, I'm not asking you uh, a question on intro to business. I don't need your help with the five factors of production or the five business environments. I don't understand how, you know, to get into this connect assignment. Can you help me with this? And I think they'll sit down and they'll work with you. If you are working from home and you're having trouble getting into Connect, your computer is saying something like you don't have um, a plug-in that you need, uh, you don't have Flash, you don't have something uh, on your computer, contact the McGraw Technical Support. Where is that? Isn't pause great? Whenever I go to pause and I look in my table of contents, content, table of contents remember connect help and you received a handout here's first of all their 800 number but you can also go to their website and see all that information is right there so everything you need you've got the contact information there right but if you experience difficulty while you're working you know at home on your computer or maybe you're you doing something new call the McGraw-Hill Technical Support so that you can get that resolved. Also, don't forget that Southwest has a technical support, so there might be certain things. You can't remember a Southwest password, something like that. Um, you can call them. An easy way to remember their number is that it's 901-333, and it spells help. 
on your phone okay so you can do that uh, call contact them as well all right that's really all um, I had to go over with you. I hope this clarifies some of the um, schedule changes that we have coming up there. And we'll keep talking. I will reach out to you again. Um, you know, we, today is our first day of this extended spring break, and I'll reach out to you again probably next week to remind you that we don't have class and to remind you of the assignments that are due. Stay safe, be well, work hard, and stay current on your assignments to the best of your ability. Thank you so much, folks.